So uh, just a couple announcements. A uh, couple announcements here. Um, so uh, we're going to be um, adjusting the schedule to accommodate some of the shifts from the original plan yesterday. Um, and specifically, uh, I was hoping to use this morning to um, to go through a few additional elements of uh, study uh, planning and staging, um, the phases of, of a study, um, major components. And, uh, and then uh, early this afternoon um, to talk about, um, or excuse me, later this morning to talk about uh, putting together questionnaires and uh, proactively self-reported information through buttons on the interface, how those are supported. Uh, and go through in detail the different types of items that are supported by the questionnaires, okay? Um, so that you have a full set, a full understanding of the, the building blocks out of which uh, questionnaires can be built, and you have some glimpses of the, um, uh, the user interface to use to build those as well. Um, then uh, after lunch, the goal would be to uh, use a uh, couple hours to uh, set aside for projects where we could apply both the understanding of the um, of the uh, questionnaires uh, of the proactively reported uh, information from buttons and uh, of the sensors uh, to build uh, project needs that are uh, that are um, responsive to the needs of the participants. So we could set up several projects. Um, discuss the features that seem best. Uh, some of that discussion may go on over lunch as well. Um, and, uh, and get into a situation where the projects start to take, take shape, both in terms of the data streams uh, in general and in terms of the particulars of the questionnaires. Uh, it may be that some of the TAs will uh, help out in defining the questionnaires um, user, uh, through the user interface. Um, or take care of, of helping to define them, um, define what are called the, the, the triggers for those questionnaires, the things that would trigger them under certain circumstances, such as when you enter geofence, such as when you uh, are in the presence of one or more participants, such as when a person has had low measured levels of physical activity for a certain amount of time. You can trigger a questionnaire based on those times. Um, it's, it's through a mechanism called the context analyzer that Mohammed introduced yesterday. And we will, um, uh, we will see how that can be applied to, um, uh, to, to your particular needs. Um, the TAs can help, uh, as Kim Mohammed, in defining, um, defining those uh, context analyzers for your questionnaires. So that's a bit on the staging of, of the day. Um, we didn't get project time yesterday, so we're making a larger block today after lunch to try to address uh, uh, the needs of emerging projects, having by that time already seen um, the information, the data streams, and the, the particulars of the questionnaires. Okay, um, So that'll be uh, today, and we'll see um, this morning, how we can uh, make better use of um, uh, of the time for uh, covering a lot of basics uh, about uh, studies before going on to, to cover the questionnaires. So that's kind of my plan for the day. I've updated the schedule on the site accordingly, and um, we'll have a break uh, in between as well. Okay, so I'm just going to start.